Hey everybody, Thomas Joseph here with another kitchen conundrum for you. Now today we're going back to the basics with measuring. You need to learn how to measure correctly to have success when you are making recipes. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do that. Starting off, two different types of measuring cups. We have a wet measuring cup and we have a dry measuring cup here. Now, when you're using a dry measuring cup, this is for things like flour and sugar and brown sugar. You can also measure things like mayonnaise and sour cream in a dry measure, anything that you can actually level off, that is what you're going to use this for. Now, for something that you would use a wet measure for would be anything that will level itself off so that you can see it with those lines. So liquids, they would go into this measuring cup here. I'm gonna start with dry measuring. Now, flour, main ingredient in baking here. What you need to know is that you shouldn't dip your cup right into the canister itself, because what that does is it packs flour into the cup. So take a scoop or a spoon and gently mix the flour, lightening it, incorporating a little bit of air, because as this canister of flour sits on your shelf, it actually compacts itself, it settles on itself. So give it a little bit of a fluff here and scoop it into your cup, sprinkling it in using that offset spatula, anything with a straight side. You want to give the cup a little bit of a tap, settling in any air pockets that might be in this cup of flour, and a good swipe, leveling it off. And that is a perfect half cup of flour. Now, if a recipe calls for sifted flour, what that means is that you need to sift the flour first, and then measure from this bowl, measure this mixture here. And what that means is you're getting a lighter cup of flour, something that isn't so heavy. Now, something like sugar, sugar is already dense, so there's no need to stir it up and you don't need to scoop into the cup. You can simply dip your cup into the canister itself and give it a good swipe. And the weights would be completely consistent here. This is a perfect half cup of sugar. Now, brown sugar. We get a lot of questions here in the test kitchens. How do I keep my sugar from getting too hard? Keep it in a well-sealed container. One of these airtight containers is really great. Take a piece of bread, some people like to use a piece of apple, and store it in with your brown sugar and it will help to keep the sugar nice and soft. Take your measuring cup, dip it into the brown sugar, and pack the sugar into the cup. Most recipes call for packed brown sugar. Now, you know you've done this right if you tap it out into a bowl and the sugar holds its shape. If it crumbles, that means that you haven't packed it firmly enough and that you should start over. So now for liquid measurements. Use a spouted glass measuring cup here. And when you're measuring things like honey or molasses, anything that's sticky and viscous, sometimes corn syrup, give your glass a spray with um, some nonstick cooking spray. And what that does is it will easily slide out on you. So I'm using honey today, half cup measure. You want to check your measurement and you actually should bend down and check that it registers a half a cup so that it's nice and level and a half cup. So this is good to go. And that's how you measure a liquid ingredient. So now to measure by weight, what you need is a digital scale for this. And certain recipes will call for ingredients by weight chocolate, for example, or fruit whenever you're baking. So take the bowl that you're going to measure into, place it on the scale, and you need to zero out or tear out the weight of the bowl itself so that you don't count that in the measurement. So all you have to do is press the button again. It should register zero. And now you're ready to measure the weight of whatever ingredient you have. So there you have it. A few simple tricks and tips in measuring ingredients the right way and that will set you up for success in the kitchen. If you have any kitchen conundrums, write in the comment section below or reach out to us using the hashtag kitchen conundrums and we will solve whatever problems you may have.